somebody was uh, asking in while doing the surya namaskar we breathe so rapidly it's a uh, i tell in the pranayama ask them to breathe slowly and uh, in surya namaskar we breathe so rapidly won't it disturb our mind won't it uh, affect our uh, it's a uh, stress level won't it go up but what what you notice now that uh, you did the surya namaskar for half an hour you took a rest that uh, now now you feel very fresh fresh energized what you notice that when you are doing a dynamic way your lungs have opened up now cleared up the lungs now after that only you did for half an hour rest of 23 and half hours you will be breathing slowly it's uh, opened up the lungs now you are more calm more serene at that time it is uh, you are breathing rapidly and in my work one colleague was saying that uh, he is not into yoga but um, in the boardroom meeting and uh, in the meetings he gets stressed up very stressed up and um, when he multitasking he gets uh, uh, it's a uh, anxiety mode and he start breathing rapidly <laughs> very ra- very rapid breathing and um, one day he was saying that last year one day that um, in that situation his uh, right hand started becoming numb and after uh, few minutes his left hand also bec- uh, started becoming numb and he got panicked that as if it's a severe pain in the chest also he thought he was having a chest pain and he called the ambulance and ambulance came and checked and they put the oxygen mask around his face and uh, they asked him to breathe slowly slowly he's breathing so rapidly that he's uh, hyperventilating himself that uh, it's a hyperventilating that a um, lo- lot of um, more oxygen that required when it happens it is uh, simulating the situation as a heart attack that uh, you can't breathe any longer lungs are overfull you feel you feel choked and uh, it's a rapid uh, we may go through we may observe many people working in a stressful situation they are not breathing properly though they have nostrils and uh, they are not making it's a they don't know the art of breathing it's a pranayama is it's a whenever you are stress we are also go, we also go through the similar situation when we are uh, working on a uh, deadlines uh, targets and um, whenever mind is has become restless be aware of your breathing make a check how i am breathing am i okay make a question to yourself am i okay how i am breathing and uh, whether i am breathing through the right nostril or left nostril when you start aware when you are aware of your breathing then your breathing slows down that make a check on yourself when you are angry check, make a it's a ask yourself how i am breathing how i am breathing that uh, wh- wh- why are you breathing why are you so nervous ask yourself that at that time it's a breathing slows down and calms the mind it's a slower you breathe it's a longer you believe that um, everyone is born with a certain number of breath and um, they say life uh, our uh, it's a life expectancy is based on the number of breaths we take not how many years we live slower you live breathe longer you live that uh, in uh, in a day that um, it's a balanced person calm person they say they we breathe 21600 times a day it's uh, that is 4 seconds per cycle 2 seconds for inhale 2 seconds for exhale and uh, one one round is 4 seconds in 1 minute we breathe is uh, 15 times and 1 hour 900 times and um, one day 21600 times when we breathe 21600 times that is the one hour one day for this body ignoring the outer clock when you practice if you are in a stressful situation always breathing very rapidly you breathe out 21600 times maybe in 12 hours that is uh, outer clock says only 12 hours but your body has done one, one day outer clock uh, fib- it's a uh, hundred years uh, it's a uh, 50 years inner body inner clock says hundred years they say everyone lives for hundred years that's why when we in indian culture when we uh, bow down to the elders they say they bless us shatayu shibhava live for hundred years that is the hundred years is the uh, quota for it's uh, not on the external ca- calendar that's the blessing means may you live your complete life 
without any that accidents and uh, no accidents and uh, uh, unfortunate things may not may it not curtail your life that is the meaning of that one and um, it's a it's a one day 21600 times in 100 years we breathe 777 mi million <laughs> point 6 number of breaths that is we are given that quota it's a, with the breathing practice that we have seen uh, many yogis we heard about many yogis they are living for the centuries it's a breathing technique it's when they start breathing slowly life expectancy increases that uh, even the Brahma, Brahma's uh, cre uh, the uh, creator that present Brahma, Chaturmukha Brahma's lifespan is 100 years and uh, after his 100 years all the liberated souls, he takes all the liberated souls along with him and he gets liberated along with the, all the liberated ones, even the Jivan Mukta that whoever is liberated they can't, it's uh, they are still in the Brahma's control, he's the He's the in charge, group leader. He takes all the liberated ones and he will be replaced with another Brahma. It's a present Hanuman will be the next uh, Brahma in waiting. It's the, it's, uh, Rama, Rama, he confirmed, uh, it's a seeing the service of Hanuman, in the CV, seeing the greatness of Hanuman, seeing the scholarship of Hanuman. He bestowed that, confirm, conferred that uh, Brahma uh, post to Hanuman, that uh, he will be the next uh, next Brahma. Bra uh, it's a uh, it's a Brahma also. Brahma's lifespan also. It says his uh, uh, in Bhagavatam it says thirty one thousand one hundred and four thousand followed by ten zeros. That is the that many years, human years. It's um, if you divide it, divide by number of years, number of uh, days, number of months. Now it's a number of hours and his one second is equivalent to our 100,000 years. And the theory of relativity, it says the theory of relativity, it's everything is relative. It's a, it's a 100 years, it's a relative that as you start opening up, as you start, it's opening up your mind, you start seeing differently that uh, it's everything is relative that uh, theory of relativity it starts from the in Bhagavatam mentions about the theory of relativity that uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, his hundred years is uh, our uh, it's, uh, innumerable years that uh, in uh, Bhagavatam also it says uh, uh, demons and uh, devas they were fighting for Amrita Amrita means uh, immortality not immortality they also have to die this um, though nectar it, that means you are not dying very frequently like humans you are uh, dying less often that is the amrita mathana that is the message of that one even the devas they have to vacate their position also it's not permanent even they say after we are attain the swarga loka heaven they say even that uh, kshine punya after exhausting your merit you have to come back that um, whatever sadhana that m many ritualistic m many people they make us to do only ritualistic act it's a kamya karma if you do this one you get male child if you do this one female child if you do this one you get this wealth this uh, in the shastra upanishad says enough of this one don't get trapped into this one don't it's a process of going and coming be, elevate yourself, go, elevate yourself, seek something, path of no return. This, uh, even the children or even wealth or whatever, it is uh, dragging you to another trap. Aren't you sick of this one? Get out, get up, raise up, go, your path is something different. Seek the immortality, that uh, seek the highest, seek the highest, that is the path of non-return. That is the, in Kundalini, that uh, as the energy starts rising up, it's the departing from here is the path of no return. And if you return with the Kamya Karma, with whatever you do, you depart the soul with the different apertures and you have to come back into this uh, process of going and coming. And uh, pr Pranayama, Pranayama, we'll do the Pranayama. Pranayama, it's uh, as I mentioned in the first class, when you start breathing slowly uh, and uh, uh, when you start, it's a Manomaya Kosha. Manomaya Kosha, it's a logic it's a mind follows the logic 
in the school days we teach our children in the high school in the university we teach our children follow the logic don't be illogical think according to the logic after this this should happen this should happen but in the vedas in uh, rigveda it says in panish sukta it's um, when the mind is calm when still and uh, out of box for the rishis for a scientist working in a laboratory for a rishi it's a new revelation happens it's a vijnanamaya kosha opens it doesn't follow the logic logic follows that re revelation in the manomaya kosha it's a uh, mind follows the logic in the vijnanamaya kosha it's a uh, logic follows the mind it's a vijnanamaya kosha new revelations new ideas new creativity happens it's uh, when the new ideas when you sit in contemplation when you start breathing slowly and new ideas new creativity new inspiration when you read the mantra you may not understand it's uh, when you contemplate it's a new ideas new revelation when it happens supreme bliss dawns in that is the anandamaya kosha you enter into the anandamaya kosha and uh, it's a uh, it takes the mind higher and higher it's the path of it's a uh, emancipation as mentioned in yoga shastras thumb and index finger together